hitting too. Yeah. He's not dyslexic. For yeah. sure. Okay. G Man. Uh, about to play me now. Alright, good luck, man. Alright, so we're getting Nine Tails and Vivid, the great. Oh. <laughs> That's not even mine. I don't even. So we got control over here. Alright, so, uh, even start so far. Um. This is definitely the favorite because I believe he's undefeated in tournament. The money map earlier was just a money match. It was a, it was a misunderstanding. But uh, Nine Tails at 56% early versus Mars 21, and really just kind of playing to a uh, Vivid's game right now. I, I remember Vivid was talking a lot about how uh, versus Jaxus, he was telling Nine Tails to like play his game. But, you know, don't play to, don't play Jaxus who's playing a uh, zero suit. And I feel like. Uh, but it was really st uh, using the fireballs for good spacing, and like, you know, it's like the small things. You're, just, you're making it like kind of react to like the small events, which kind of snowball out in the mindset. A uh, really good grab. Uh, I love that ability. That side B by was it, no the down B, I believe, or something. The one where she collects the uh, projectile. But. Oh, good spot dodge by Vivid and uh, clean up smash to end the stock. Only 70%. So, at this point, you really want to watch to see how much this player with the stock advantage can get before they lose their stock, if they lose their stock. So we've had a couple of two stocks in this tournament so far. Yeah, great, great combos. Um, Vivid is playing so patient. You know, he's waiting to see what his opponent's doing before he, like, and then he, you know, he reacts accordingly. Probably the most impressive player who does that, because he, he can just like see like the first few frames of your ability and just punish you, you know, like. And I mean, he's almost about to lap Ro uh, Rosalina right here, going for some offside because Rosalina's recovery can't be hit in uh, during. So Rosalina, some good up airs, but really needs to close the stock out. I really like how he's using this cape to uh, create space between him to give him a, a, a really safe recovery uh, for Mario. I think it's a really creative way to do that. Uh, Misses the ledge and gets punished, but not too bad, just the tilt. And um, I mean, this game is looking quite one-sided. The fish for those up smashes. Ow! Nine Tails gets the up air and closes up the stock. But I mean, 105%, it's a... Uh, Oh, at least not Tekken. We don't tech those. So give it the one O start of the uh, yeah start to this game. Um, definitely expected, and I think uh, Nintendo showed a, a lot of really good moments in that game. But I, I just felt like Vivid controlled the pace the whole time, and it, it's just so hard to do that. You know, it's so hard to let, let someone who's the best in Oregon and let him play his game. Because I mean, he's the best for a reason. You know, so you kind of want him to adjust to you. And if you don't have you don't have him do that, I mean, he's gonna. As you saw, take a huge lead and just close out. So he's getting Mewtwo. I mean, why not, I guess. Uh, I don't really... Yeah. <laughs> uh, he won a game earlier. I think he two stocks earlier with Mewtwo. Um, I mean, because Vivid is definitely really good at his pure fundamentals and reading. So he's just showing how like mechanically skilled he is. But I've heard Mewtwo's not very good at all, so this will be interesting. I don't really have any actual knowledge of it. As you can see, uh, now he's having a much easier time going in, which he did not have versus the Mario and the spacing where else fireballs kind of gave him. <coughs> but, so yeah, I mean, it went from like 60 to 20% where Mewtwo down, with Mewtwo at the low. It's now 63 to 85, so Nantel's making the most of this, but... Uh, you know, a grab later, and it's kind of right back a tail, so it's even percent. Um, I have no idea the kill percent for Mewtwo, but I mean, just charges it up. Rosalina goes right into it. Happy birthday! Getting an early eight, uh, not that much percent really, but uh, oh, beautiful read by uh, Nine Tails right there, really punching Vivid's kind of. 
you know, simple recovery, just going straight down. And takes it presently just right off the bat, so. Uh, Luma's down, but we've seen Ninetales do really good with and without Luma, so I, I it kind of limits his options a little bit, but I, you know, he's still going to be playing his game. If Vivid lets him, which he isn't, and, uh, kind of a good idea going for, like, the redirect of uh, Rosalina, but, you know, Vivid smart, he's just charging it up, like, the disabled him for later. And, uh, up tilt Nation from Ninetales. And Luma with the, the cute hit at the end. Oh, and the combo, you know. It's a 2v1 right now with Luma on the stage. Oh, that interrupts his Uh-oh. Up tilt? But Michi's living, we living. Ninetales close to closing this out, even against a 1-1. Oh, beautiful spacing. Oh, and Ninetales with a wrong direction. Unfortunate, but I mean, in the tournament, we take those, so. 2-0 for Kaka's uh, Vivid the Great NBA. Well played, I mean, even his music game was just pure fundamentals and reading. Uh, no one else in the tournament could probably run music.